Alrighty, here we go. Hey there everybody, it's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Sandcats franchise here in year number 10. Last episode, the Sandcats took on the Wild Pigs in a thriller, and we eventually outlasted their bullpen in the 11th inning, thanks to a walk-off home run by our long-standing first baseman, Hercules Bentley, as we win 4-3 in 11, giving Marcus Briggs, the rookie reliever, his first career victory. Today's matchup will be the 12th game of the season out of 16. It's our only matchup against the Moose here in the regular season. On the mound for us will be a second-year pitcher, Enzo Sawyer. Right-hander is 1-1 one one with a 5.40 ERA and a 1.46 whip. And opposing him will be former Sandcat pitcher Ivan Becker, who is in his third season now, second with the Moose. And this is his second attempt at a revenge game against us. I'm not sure if they won that game against us last year or not. They probably did, but I don't remember. Becker comes into this start, 1-1 one one as well, with a 4-3-5 ERA and a 1-2-6 whip. Slightly better numbers than Sawyer, but they're pretty even, given that they're both... Well, Sawyer's a 4-pitcher and Becker's a 3. Here's a look at today's lineup for the Sandcats here on the road. Uh, Nash will lead off, locked in at third base. Batting second is right fielder Aubrey Lynn. Batting third is last game's hero, first baseman Hercules Bentley. Batting fourth is shortstop Hank Ingrone, who's finally back to neutral mojo for the first time since the first game of the season. Batting fifth is DH. Edvard Mitchell getting the start today over Hezekiah Cross, who's still tense. Batting sixth is left fielder Diego Trevino getting the start today. Batting seventh is second baseman Cash DeMoran. Batting eighth is center fielder Cash Basquette still locked in. She gets the start today over Magic Moore. And batting ninth is rookie catcher Wiscom Contreras getting the start today over Acosta, who did not hit well once again last episode. Let's jump into the action here as we're on the road here to Sakura Hills to take on the Moose. We're coming to this matchup 8-3. and three. We are currently, I believe, tied for the division lead. We might be a half game ahead. I'm not 100% sure. Probably should have checked that before I go live, but oh well. Should be a good matchup for us. Moose looking to stay in playoff contention. I believe right now they're sitting at 4-6, and six, so if they lose, they're drifting very close to being eliminated from the playoffs outright. Ooh, they got some good hitters there in the middle of the lineup. Buffler and Godsendez, they're feeling it. Michael's at the bottom, not so much. All right, let's take a look at starting pitcher Ivan Becker's numbers here as the Moose take the field here in the first. Nash will lead off. Third baseman still locked in, hitting 478 on the year with three homers and six RBIs on the season. Here's a look at Becker's numbers on the year. Becker comes into this start, as we know, 1-1 one one with a 4-3-5 ERA and a 1-2-6 whip. He's given up five earned runs in ten in the third innings pitched in those two starts, surrendering ten hits, three walks, one hit was a home run, and he's also struck out eight. Batting average against the 244 is actually the best of the four starting pitchers that the Moose actually have, so he's having a solid year. He's actually one of the more consistent pitchers outside of their ace, Damon McDaniel. Let's see if he can keep it going here against us, his former club. Fork ball inside from Becker misses, ball one as we're underway. Sliders inside, 2-0 the Nash as he's in the driver's seat here. Ball low, 3-0 the count now. Change of on the inner third, first strike, 3-1. Curve ball hangs and is popped up behind the plate by Nash as he gets under it. Calling for it is the catcher and making it his former Sandcat, Camden Brennan, one down. Now to bring up Aubrey Lynn, the right fielder, hitting 333, two homers and nine RBIs here on the year. First pitch fastball, or sorry, changeup is outside from Becker. Ball one. Changeup on the outer third this time for a strike. One and one. Fastball's high. Two and one. Fastball up, swung late by Lynn. Two and two the count now. Fastball away, chased and lined softly to first. Easy play for God Sendez. Two down. That'll bring up veteran first baseman Hercules Bentley. Last game's heroes. He hit a walk off homer in the 11th. He's hitting 300 on the season with two homers and six RBIs. First pitch curveball stays inside from Becker. Ball one. Just missing the corner. Change up a wave. Hit up the middle hard and it's past the diving shortstop for a base hit in the center. Bentley gets the first hit of the game for the Sandcats as he'll extend the inning here with two down. That'll bring up shortstop Hank Ingrown. He's hitting 261 with two homers and eight RBIs on the season. Becker sets and fires. Hanging curveball. Ingrown waits on it. Hits it deep to left field. That's heading to the corner. Does it have carry? No, it doesn't, as Johnston makes a catch on the wall, and that ends the inning. 
Bottom one we go. Sandcats only muster up a hit against Becker. Cobb, Cowie, and Buffler do up here against Sawyer. Here's Emilio Cobb. The right fielder will lead off, hitting 325 with a homer and three RBIs to start the game. Let's take a look at the Moose line up here. Cobb leads off, followed by center fielder Teagan Cowie. Batting third is veteran second baseman Huffley Buffler. He's DHing today. He's locked in as well. Batting fourth and on fire is first baseman Devin Godsendez, a 10th year veteran as well. Batting fifth is third baseman Case Herman in his first year with the Moose. Batting sixth is former Sandcat catcher Camden Brennan. Batting seventh is left fielder, left fielder and original Moose member Stallion Johnson in his 10th season. Batting eighth is 10th year veteran Bloop Michaels, originally from the Wild Pigs. He was with the Sawteeth for a long time, and now it's his first year with the Moose. He's 10th uh, in the eighth slot. And batting ninth and recent free agent pickup is second baseman Annabella Stokes. And here are Sawyer's numbers on the season as we get to take a look at his two starts. Like Becker, he comes in 1-1. One one. ERA slightly higher at a 540, and the whip also slightly higher at 146. He's given up eight runs, seven of which were earned in 11 and two-thirds innings, so he's thrown more innings than Becker. But he has given up more runs, so it's penalized against him. 16 hits surrendered, with two of them being home runs. He's walked the batter and struck out four. Batting average of 320 here for Sawyer. Mm, it's not great, but it's actually just slightly higher than everyone else, so... He's keeping pace with the rest of the rotation, at least. First pitch to Cobb is a two-seamer down and away. Low, ball one. Next pitch is a curveball down and in. Just low in the dirt, 2-0. Oh. Fastball up and in is inside. 3-0 count here from Sawyer to start the game. Slider away. It's a four-pitch walk to start the outing as Cobb will trot down the first with the leadoff base runner. That'll bring up Cowie, the center fielder, hitting 316. Two RBIs on the season for the second-year player. First pitch slider down in the way is called strike at the knees. 0-1 as Sawyer throws his first strike of the outing. You see him down and in is low. 1-1. One one. Change up up and away. High. 2-1. and one. Fastball up and in. Line softly to second. Leaping is Moran to make the catch. One down. Nice play. At a set of three hitter. Huffley Buffler. Locked in DH is hitting 364 with three homers and eight RBIs in the air as he's feeling it lately. First pitch to him is a curveball down in the way. Called a strike on the knees. 0-1. Slider down low. Taken. Ball 1. 1-1. Fastball up and away. Check swing for a strike. 1-2 the count now as Sawyer looks to put him away. Change of up and in. Popped up to the foul territory just to the left of the plate. Contreras makes the catch. Two down as he hardly had to move. Now to bring up the on-fire first baseman, Devin Gonsendez, hitting 452 with six homers and 15 RBIs. Good lord, that is outstanding stats. He might be leading the league in two of those categories. I know he's not leading in average because I believe Nash is either first or second in that category. Two-seamer down in the way is low. Ball one as it just misses the zone. Fastball middle in, hard grounder up the middle. Moran dives and knocks it down. He recovers to fire to first. Just late as Gossendez beats it out for an infield single. Two on now, and that'll bring up Herman. Third baseman's hitting 378 with two homers and eight RBIs. Fastball up and in, taken high, ball one. Slider down in the way is low. 2-0 the count now as Herman's in the driver's seat here. Two-seamer middle of the plate, line to center field, hit pretty well. Basquet retreats, makes the catch on the line, and that'll end the inning. Moose record a hit and a walk, but they do not score off of Sawyer. Top two, still nothing, nothing. Mitchell, Trevino, and Moran do up. All right, here's D.H. Edvard Mitchell getting the start today over Cross, who's still tense. He's hitting three for five on the season with a 600 batting average. Slider outside, misses, ball one. Fastball inside, swung late by Mitchell, one on one. Change up inside, hard ground to the second, right at Stokes though on the backhand, makes the play easily, one down. I ring up Diego Trevino, the left fielder getting the start today over Magic Moore. He's hitting 167 with a homer and one RBI. Fastball in there, down the middle, 0-1. Fastball down in the way, swung late, 0-2, the count now to Trevino. Cork ball down, grounded softly to short, easy play for Michaels, two down as he handles it at short. Now to bring up second baseman Cash to Moran, hitting 385 on the season with a homer and three RBIs here. 
First pitch change up outside and nowhere near the zone. Ball one. Change up down, dribble to short. It's going to be a tough play for Michaels as he charges and fires in time to get Moran, and that's a 1 2 3 inning. Bottom two, Brennan, Johnson, and Michaels do up here against Sawyer in the second inning. Camden Brennan, the former Sandhead catcher, will lead off, hitting 269 with two homers and five RBIs here in the season. First pitch change up at the letters, pulled fouls. Brennan was early on it, 0 1. Fastball down in the way, down low actually, 1 and 1. Curveball down, ripped hard by Brennan Fowles. He's early again, 1 and 2. Slider down and in, dribbled back to the mound. Sawyer makes the play on a hop, goes to first, 1 down. Next up is left fielder Stallion Johnson, hitting 194 with three RBIs here on the season. Two seamer high, called a strike at the letters, 0 and 1. Slider high, called a strike again. It's quickly 0-2. Range it down and away. Swung through it, strike three. First punch out of the game for Sawyer as he sets down Johnson. Two down, and that'll bring up Michaels. Shortstop comes into this game tense, hitting a buck 86 with six RBIs here in the season. Batting in the eighth slot today. First pitch curveball hangs, and Michaels skies at the left center field as he was surprised by it. Trevino calling for it. Makes the catch. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Sawyer to match Becker to the third. Still scoreless. Basquet, Contreras, and Nash do up here. Here's center fielder Cash Basquet getting the start today as she moves over from left field. Still locked in. Hitting 375 with the homer and seven RBIs here in the season. Fork ball outside for a called strike 0-1 as Becker's locked in following last inning scoreless outing. Change up away, dribbled softly to second. Stokes bare hands and flips the first, one down. Now to bring up ninth hitter, rookie catcher Wiscom Contreras, hitting 455 on the year with three RBIs. First pitch from Becker's, a check swing for a fastball at the letters, called a strike, 0 and 1. Fastball high, 1 and 1 the count. Way high and away, 2 and 1 the count now. Fastball down, line softly to right, off the leaping godsend as his glove, and it'll trickle into right field. It's a base hit for Contreras. He'll keep his hot hitting going here in the season, and that'll put him on at first with one down as Becker falls back to neutral mojo. That'll bring him back up the top of the lineup, and Nash is 0 for 1. Pop flew out softly his first time up. Change up inside, caught the corner on the inner third, 0 and 1. Fastball's high to him, 1 and 1. Fastball away, 2-1 and one the count now as Nash is ahead. Slider hangs in the middle of the plate. Nash drives it deep to right center field. Will that get over Cowie's glove? No, it won't as she runs it down in the gap. Two down. Contreras has to retreat to first. Now to bring up the two-hitter, Aubrey Lynn, the right fielder, who's 0-1 today. I believe she grounded out her first time up. Or she lined out the first, I think. First pitch change of outside, ball one. Change up away, outside, 2-0 oh the count now as Lynn's in the driver's seat here against Becker. Fastball away, skied down the right field line softly, and making the catch is Cobb as he comes in. Sandcats get a hit, but nothing comes of it. Bottom three, Stokes, Cobb, and Cowie do up here against Sawyer. Here's Stokes getting her first bat of the game as the nine hitter has no hits here on the season as she was just recently picked up out of the free agent pool. How many at-bats has she had here in the season? I'm curious. Where is she? There she is. She's played in one game and had one at bat. So this is really her first start of the season. So let's see how she does. First pitch slider away. Called a strike on the outer third. 0 and 1. Fastball up and in is high and inside. 1 and 1. Change it down and away. Dribbled foul by Stokes as she stays alive. 1 and 2. Slider down and in, hard liner to the right side, past the diving Bentley's glove in the right field. Lynn gets it in, but it's a single for Stokes, her first hit of the season. She's on at first, now to bring up Cobb, who drew a walk his first time up and was stranded at second base. First pitch two seamer away, line to third, right at Nash, he makes the play, one down. Good reactions there at the hot corner, now to bring up Cowie, 0 for 1 today. First pitch curveball down and in is called strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Change it down and away, called a strike again at the knees as it's quickly 0 and 2. Sawyer forging ahead here against Cowie. 
Fastball up and in. Swung through it, strike three. Second punch out of the game for Sawyers. He's now locked in. Two down, and that'll bring a buffler over for one today. Two seamer down in the way, stays outside. Ball one. Her ball down and in is low. Two and oh, the count is it's in the dirt. Fastball down in the way, called a strike at the knees. Two and one. Change up and in. Just high. Three and one as it misses the top of the zone. Slider down and in, called a strike. Sawyer works at full here against Buffler. Two seamer down in the way, dribbled softly to second as Buffler grounds it to Moran. He'll make the play, and that ends the inning. Moose get a hit from Stokes to lead off the inning, but nothing comes of it. Top four, we're still scoreless here. Benley, Ingrone, and Mitchell do up here against Becker. Or at least one for one today. Singled back up the middle his first time up. One of the few hits we got through the first time in the lineup. Change but away, taken. Ball one, because it's low. Change up inside, pulled by Bentley down the left field line. That has some carry, but Johnson with his speed will run it down. One out. Going to bring up Ingram. Flew out to the warning track in left field his first time up on a hanging curve ball. Looking to turn that around here and maybe pull it. Change up in there at the knees on the inner third. Called a strike. Slider on the inner third. Push to the left side of the infield as Herman dives to cut it off. He'll make the play. Two down. And Ingram is tense once again. Go figure. It's been tense all season. To bring up the DH, Edvard Mitchell, 0 for 1 today. Grabs out his first time up. Fastball at the knees for a strike, 0 and 1. Fork ball down at the knees, grounded softly to third. Easy play for Herman. It's a 1 2 3 inning for Becker again as he gets through the fourth cleanly. Bottom four, Godsendez, Herman, and Brennan do up here against Sawyer. Godsendez is 1 for 1 today, singled in his first at bat. Off the diving, Moran's glove at second base. First pitch change up down in the way. Check swing. Called a strike at the knees as Godsendez is behind. 0 and 1. Curveball down and in is low. 1 and 1 as it's in the dirt. Seam up and away. High. 2 and 1. Slider middle away. Sky ball by Godsendez to center field. Basket backtracks a few steps. And she'll make the catch. 1 down. Next up is Herman, 0 for 1 today. First pitch change up down and in is in the dirt. Ball 1 is it's mishandled by Contreras anyway. 1-0 pitch is a fastball up and in. Swung high as Herman chased it, 1-1. Two-seamer down and away is low in the dirt, 2-1. and one. Slider down and away. Grounded foul by Herman off to the right side. Still now the count is two and two. Curveball down and in. Pulled hard up the line, but just foul as Herman was early. Fastball up and away. Called strike three on the outer third. Third punch out of the game for Sawyers. That puts two down in the inning for Brennan. Over one. He popped out to the catcher his first time up. First pitch two seamer up and away is high from Sawyer. Ball one. Change up away, drifts outside, 2-0 the count now as Brennan's in this driver's seat here. Fastball in there, down the middle, Brennan jumps on it, hits it deep to center field, and that is a goner, folks. It's off the rocks out there in center. Uh, solo home run here for Camden Brennan, the former Sandcat catcher, as we hang him a fastball, and he didn't miss it. Third of the season for him, and it gives the Moose the first lead of the game, 1-0. Now to bring up Johnson, 0-1 today. Where is that pitch going? I wasn't ready. Taken high, ball 1. Second pitch is a curveball. Check swing for a strike. One and one. Two seamer up and in. Line to left center field. That's going to be a gapper, and Johnson has great speed, so he's going to turn this into extra bases easily. Basket finally tracks it down and gets it in as Johnson will hold up at second with a double. Second two out hit here. Has the moose with the runner in scoring position for Michaels, who's over one. Grounded out his first time up. First pitch is a curveball down and away from Sawyer for a strike at the knees, 0-1. Fastball up and in, drifts inside, 1-1. Change of down and in, line softly to second over Moran's leaping glove, and that's going to be extra bases as it rolls all the way to the wall in the right center gap. Two two-out doubles now make it a 2-0 game as Michaels drives in his seventh run of the season. That makes it a moose 2-0 game now, and that'll bring up Stokes. Single to right fielder first time up and was stranded there. 
First pitch fastball in there, lined to right center field. That's over Moran's diving glove, and that'll be extra bases as well as Lynn can't cut it off. That's going to be a triple here as Lynn finally gets to it. Stokes thought about three, but ends up hanging it two for the third straight double. It's now 3-0 Moose, her first RBI of the season. Going to bring up Cobb, 0 for 1 today with a walk. First pitch slider, middle in, check swing for a called strike, 0 and 1. Sawyer now tense here after the shenanigans of this inning. Two-seamer drifts outside, 1-1 one one the count. Fastball down, just below the knees, 2-1. and one. Change up up high, line to left center. Ingrown, for some reason, was switched off of by the damn AI controller, and that will allow the run to score for another double. It's now 4 nothing Moose. Things are just coming apart here in the fourth, and then we'll bring up Cowie, 0 for 2. First pitch fastball below the knees, of course, ball one. Curveball down in the way, Cowie ca takes it for a called strike, one and one. Slider down in the way, one hopper to second, Moran there for it, backhanding, makes the play, and that finally ends the inning. But the Moose string together four two-out doubles, as long as a solo home run, to score the first four runs of the game. 4 nothing to the fifth, Trevino, Moran, and Basquette do up. Trevino's 0 for 1 today. Let's see if he can get something started here against Becker, who's still locked in. Change up at the knees for a called strike, 0 and 1. Fastball up, swung late by Trevino. It's now 0 and 2. Fork ball inside, line to center field, but guess what? It's right at the fielder. Cowie makes the catch, 1 down. Brings up Moran, 0 for 1 today with a ground out. Fastball at the knees for a strike, 0 and 1. Fastball up and in is skied to center field as he gets under it. Easy play for Cowie. Two down. Now to bring up Basquette, 0 for 1 today. Hanging curveball, driven deep to right center field, but guess what? Cowie's got the speed. Runs it down. It's a 1 2 training for Becker in the fifth. Bottom five, it's still four to nothing. Buffler, Godsendez, and Herman do up here against Sawyer for the third time today. Buffler over two today. Sawyer's given up seven hits here with one walk and three punch outs on the afternoon. Unfortunately, he's not going to get the win. Curveball down in the way is called strike 0 and 1. The way Becker's pitching, he could probably go the distance. Fastball up and in is a check swing 0 and 2, the count now. Change up down and in below the knees. Pulled foul by Buffler as he stays alive. Two seamer up and away. One hopper to second. Moran makes the play cleanly, and he'll throw to first. One down. Sawyer back to neutral mojo, and that'll bring up Godsendez. One for two today with the single. First pitch change up down in the ways. Called strike. Going one. Two seamer up and in. Line softly to left field. Charging his Trino. He slides, and he makes the catch. Great play. Two down. Next up is Herman. 0 for two today. Looking to get his first hit of the contest. First pitch slider up and in is high and inside, 1 0. Change it down in the way, outside, 2 0. Fastball down and in is called strike, 2 and 1. Curveball up and away, outside, 3 and 1. Two seamer down in the way, just low. Second walk of the game given up by Sawyer, and that'll put Herman on with two down in the inning. Brings up Brennan, one for two today with the solo home run to start the rally last inning. Let's see what he does here. First pitch curveball, middle away. Swung through by Brennan as he's early on it, 0-1. Fastball down and in, hard grounder to third. Diving snatch, it's out of his reach, and that's another base hit. Brennan now two for three, and that puts two on with two down now for Johnson, who doubled his last time up, and then he came in to score a run. You see him up and away on the first pitch. Is called for a strike on the check swing on the outer third. 0 and 1. Change it down and away. Drifts outside. Chased by Johnson. 0 and 2. The count now. Curve ball down and in. Pulled foul as Johnson stays alive. Still 0 and 2. Slider up high. Called strike three at the letter. His fourth punch out of the game for Sawyer as he gets out of the fifth unscathed. Gives up a walk and a hit, but he strands him. Top six. Contreras, Nash, and Lynn do up here against Becker for the. Second and third times today, respectively. Becker's just cruising along here. Contreras leads off. Rookie's one for one today with a single. Becker, of course, has only given up two hits here in the game. One to Contreras and one to Bentley. Sets and throws a changeup in the dirt. Ball one. 
Change of away, call the strike, one and one. Chase the slider in the dirt, two and one, one and two the count. Fastball up and in, fist it by Contreras on the pop fly to first. Easy catch for God Sendez, one down. Next up is Nash, over two today. Flew out to center, right center field his last time up. Fastball inside on the inner third for a strike, 0 and 1. Low this time, 1 and 1. Fastball down, sky ball by Nash to right center field. Hit pretty decent, but over there for it is Cobb. He'll make a catch in the gap, 2 down. How to bring up Lynn, 0 for 2 today. Looking to get something started here against Becker. He's just cruising right now. Fastball high, taken, ball 1. Slider middle of the plate, line to right field. That will drop in front of Cobb for the third hit today for the Sandcats as they have a two-out base runner. Lynn will be on over there, and that will bring up Bentley, the first baseman. Singled his first time up and then flew out his second time. Becker sets, first pitch, fastball away, call the ball, 1-0. Slider's inside, 2-0 the count now to Bentley. Slider up and in, Bentley turns on it, uh, Flies it out to left center field. Not a lot of carry on it. Ke making the catch in the gap is Johnson, and that's going to end the inning. Sandcats get a hit, but nothing comes of it. Bottom six, Michaels, Stokes, and Cobb do up here against Sawyer. Sawyer's given up eight hits and two walks. I think he's done here after five, striking out four. Michaels drove in a run last time up on a two-out double. And Sawyer's pitch count's really high, and he's just he's really tired. I can't can't keep him out there. We're going to have to go to the long reliever here, Alfonso Hahn, who, as you all remember, two episodes ago, he had a glorious bullpen implosion that would have done the Orioles proud. He is 1-0 on the year with a 9.82 ERA, eight runs given up, all of them earned. He's got a 2.05 whip in four games. He's thrown, recorded one save, thrown seven in the third innings, 13 hits given up, one of which was a homer, struck walked two, and struck out two. His batting average against is 371. Last outing, the one I'm referring to, Han only recorded one-third of an inning, giving up seven runs. Six of them were earned to him. The other one was earned to the starter, Kenneth McCann, who ended up taking the loss, because it was a 4-4 game at the time that Han came in. So let's see if he can bounce back here from that putrid outing and see if he can rally. First pitch, two-seamer down in the way. It's called strike knees, 0-1. Han was the only one of our relievers not to pitch last episode in that extra innings thriller, so he's going to need to eat up some innings here for us, as the others are gassed, with the exception of Briggs. Curveball up and in is swung through by Michaels, 0-2 the count now. Fastball down and in, grounded up the middle to second, Moran backhands and fires, one down. Next up is Stokes, doubled in a runner last time up, she's also singled today, it's two for two today. Contact first left-handed active for her for the first time today. First pitch two-seamer away is pulled down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball as that gets into the corner out there. Should be extra bases for the speedy Stokes. Trevino gets it in, but it is a second double here for her as she's now a perfect three for three and locked in at the plate. Here's Cobb, one for two today. Doubled in a run his last time up. He's also walked. First pitch curveball up and away. Called a ball as it misses the zone, one and zero. Four-seamer down in the way, line to left center field as Trevino tracking it, lays out for it, just cuts it off on the dive. Stokes had to freeze on it, we'll only get to third here on the base hit by Cobb, he's two for three. Got to bring up Cowie, 0 for three today, looking to drive in the runner from third. First pitch fastball up and in from Hahn is high, ball one. Curve ball away, call to strike the knees, one and one. Two-seamer down and in. Line softly up the middle. That's going to get over everybody for a base hit as Cowie drives in the runner from third. It's now 5 nothing Moose as she's 1 for 3. Or 1 for 4. Next up is Buffler, 0 for 3 today. Looking to keep the rally going as Han is rattled again. First pitch curveball at the knees. Pulled the third hard right at Nash, though, and that's the second out. Runners get back on the freeze. Next up is God Sendez, 1 for 3 today with the single. First pitch fastball up and away, called a strike at the letters, 0-1. Two-seamer down and away, just outside, 1-1. One one. Fastball up and in, just inside, 2-1. Curveball up and in, taken high, ball three. Three and one the count, two-seamer down and in, called a strike at the knees, full count now as runners will go on the pitch. Four-seamer down in the way. Lined hard at the middle. That's a base hit as the runners were going. Basquette gets the throw in. Runner will still score on the hit and run as it's now 6-0. Nothing. 
Moose have scored two off of Han here in the inning. That'll bring up Herman, 0 for 2 today with the walk. First pitch, two seamer up and in. Line to left center field. Basquette giving chase. Runs it down for the third out. Just hung up long enough, but the Moose get two more runs off of Han here in the sixth to the seventh. Ingro and Mitchell and Trevino look to get something started against Becker as we're trailing by six with only three innings left to play. We need a miracle. Ingrown leading off over two today. He's back to tense mojo again. Whoopee. Like anything else is new. First pitch fastball up and in is inside. 1 0. Fastball up and away. Taken high. 2 0 count now to Ingrown. Change up middle of the plate. He skies it to center field as he gets just under the fucking hanging breaking ball. Easy catch for Cowie. One down. Next up is Mitchell. 0 for 2 today. DH is looking to find his base for the first time. Curveball down. Lisses. Ball one. Fastball inside. 2 0 count now to Mitchell. Hanging curveball. Ripped to right field with that drop. Not quite as Cobb slides to make the catch. You cunt. Two down, and that'll bring up Trevino. 0 for 2 today. I'm not expecting much here. Becker now on fire. Curveball up and in is high. Ball one. Curveball up and in caught the zone this time. One and one. Fastball up and away. Fouled off by Trevino as he's late. One and two. Becker looking to set him down again. Curveball up. Pulled softly to short. Easy play for Michaels. Another one, two, three inning for Becker. Bottom seven. Brennan, Johnson, and Michaels do up. Brennan's two for three today. Hit a solo home run and singled his last time up. First pitch fastball at the letters. Check swing for a strike. Going one. Curveball down. Called a strike on the check swing at the knees. 0 and 2. You see him up high. Take him. Ball one. Fastball down and in. Just low. 2 and 2. Two seamer up and away. Brennan files it off to the right side. 2 and 2. Curveball down and away. Pulled in the right field. Not well, though. Lynn makes the catch. One down as it was right at her. Next up is Johnson. One for three today with the double. First with the curveball down at the knees. Called a strike as it floats in there. 0 and 1. Fastball middle in. Taken. Ball one. Two seamer up and away. Called a ball. 2 and 2. 1 the count now. Curveball down at the knees. Hard grounder at the middle. Diving's Moran and cuts it off. He'll fire to first. Gets the speedster. Two down. Great defensive play. And that'll bring up Michaels. One for three today with an RBI double. Fastball middle third. Popped up to the right side of the plate. Contreras over there on the edge of the batting circle. Makes the catch. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for Hahn. A good bounce back inning for him. Top eight. Moran, Basquet, and Contreras face the on-fire Ivan Becker. Moran's 0 for 2 today. Looking to get something going. Anything, really. Saw a curveball inside. Pulled to left center field. Easy sky ball, though, for Johnson. One down. We just can't do anything. Basquette next, 0 for 2. Nothing we try is working. Fastball the letters for a strike. 0 and 1. Fastball away. Taken. Ball 1. Strike 2. 1 and 2 the count now. Fastball up and away, chased high by Basket, but she fouls it off to no man's land. One and two. Fastball up and away, taken high. Two and two the count. Fastball up and away, swung late. A strikeout for Becker is first of the game. Two down in the inning, and that'll bring up Contreras. Rookie's one for two today with a single and a ground out. Fastball down, hit pretty well, deep to center field, but there's no carry. As it's the deepest part of the park, Cowie makes the catch. Another 1-2-3 inning for Becker, who is three outs away from a complete game shutout. Boy, wouldn't that be something. Stokes, Cobb, and Cowie do up here against Hahn in his third inning of work. Stokes is 3-for-3 three three today. Perfect. Two doubles and a single, driving in a run. First pitch, two seamer down and away from Hahn is low. Ball one. Fastball up and in is high. 2-0. and oh. Her ball pulled the left shortstop in the hole. Ingram backhands and quickly fires the first to retire Stokes for the first time today. She's down to neutral mojo. One out, and here's Cobb. Two for three today. Singled his last time up. He's also doubled in a run and walked. First pitch fastball outside off the glove of Contreras. Ball one. Curveball down and in is low. Two and oh. Two seamer down, ripped to right center field. That's a gapper, as that might be extra. It will be extra bases for Cobb as he's on his way to second. 
Lin gets it in, and that will hold him to a double. He's now three for four. Been on base four times today, and that'll bring up Cowie. Singleton runner last time up. She's one for four today. First pitch curveball in there. Line to second right at Moran. He'll make the catch. Two down. Runner gets back to second in time. That'll bring up Buffler, who's 0 for 4 today. Fastball middle in is a called strike because Buffler takes it all the way. 0 and 1. Two seamer away. Hit pretty well by Buffler to right center field. It is long gone. Into the sand pit. Fourth of the year for Buffler. First hit of the day for him. He's one for five. And that two-run shot makes it eight-nothing as the Moose pile on some more for good measure. Here's Godsendez. Two for four day for him with two singles and an RBI. First pitch from Han is a curveball down in the way. Called a strike to the knees as it floats in there. 0 and 1. Curveball down and in low. 1 and 1. Fastball middle of the way, lined in the hole to short. Diving Zingron, it's out of his reach. Another base hit for Godsendez. He's now three for five. That would keep him going for Harriman, who walked his last time up. He's over three, I believe. Two seamer down and in is called strike the knees. 0 and 1. Fastball down and away, low, 1 and 1. Curveball up and in, check swing high, called a strike, 1 and 2. Fastball away. Well, hard ground to the first. Bentley there. He'll go to the bag, and that'll end the inning as Herman's now tense. But the Moose get two more runs on a two-run homer by Huffley Buffler, and it's now 8-0 to the ninth as Becker is three outs away from a complete game shutout. Nash, Lynn, and Bentley top of the lineup will face Becker for the fourth and final time today, more than likely. Here's Nash, 0 for 3 today. Still looking for his first hit of the game. Godsendez will exit as first baseman Avery Diaz will come on as a defensive upgrade. Despite being tense, he is still a much better fielder than the on-fire Godsendez, who could never field in his own right. That's the only defensive change as the Moose are confident they can get this done. Fastball right. the letters for a called strike as Becker forges ahead, 0 and 1. Right. Change up and in, called a strike, 0 and 2. Fastball down and in is popped up to shortstop. Edge of the grass is Michaels. He makes the catch. One down. Two more to go. Next up is Lynn. One for three today with a single. Check swing at the fastball at the knees. 0-1. Chase the fork ball in the dirt. 0-2. Curveball hangs. Ripped up the middle by Lynn. Her first hit of the game. And that's the fourth of the day for the uh, Sandcats. Put her on at first, and that'll bring up Bentley, who's one for three today. Actually, that might be Lynn's second of the game. I'm not sure. I'll have to check in the box score. Strike the knees on the heater, 0 and 1. Curveball hangs inside, 1 and 1. Change up away, 2 and 1. Change up and in, called a strike, 2 and 2. Swung through a fastball down the middle. Bentley down swinging, and that'll bring up Ingrown as the last chance, who's hitless today, 0 for 3. Fork ball up, hit pretty well, the left center field, does it have the carry? No, it doesn't, as that's one last big fuck you. Johnson makes a catch on the warning track, and the Sandcats are shut out by their former pitcher, Ivan Becker. His second career, complete game shutout. He had his first one, of course, in his very first career start when he was on our team. We lose eight to nothing today. We only manage four hits off of Becker. We give up fifteen and two walks. As well as eight runs. Only people who got hits today were Lynn who had two of them. Contreras had one at the bottom of the lineup, and Benley had one in the three hole. Everyone else? Goose eggs. On the other side, Cobb had a three hit day at the top of the lineup. Buffler had a two run homer. Uh, Brennan had a home run. He also had a two hit day. Stokes had a three hit day at the bottom of the lineup as well. She drove in a run. Michaels also drove in a run, so did Godsendez and Cowie and Cobb. Pitching lines, Sawyer had five innings of work, eight hits, four runs given up, on one of them a home run, two walks given up, and he struck out four batters. He'll take the loss today. He's one for two on the one and two on the season. Out of the bullpen, Han came. He threw three innings, seven hits were given up, with one of them being a two run homer. He's also gave up four earned runs. His ERA balloons to a ten forty five. And on the other side, Ivan Becker at the complete game shutout. Four hits given up with two strikeouts. He's now 2-1 and one on the season with a stellar ERA under 2.5. He should be your player of the game, and he is, followed by Emilio Cobb with his three hits at the top of the lineup and Stokes with their three hits at the bottom of the lineup. 
What a shitty fucking game that was for us. We could do nothing right the entire fucking time. Our offense was just... <laughs> nothing fucking happened. Just glad it's over. We should fall to 8-4, and four, and I believe we're no longer in first place. Yep, we are now a half game behind the Moonstars, as we were tied with them coming into that game. And there will be no simulation as we are in the next game up as we head back home to face the Saw Teeth here in our 13th game. We'll have our ace Swindle Pal on the hill who's 2-1 and one with a 3-3-8 ERA and a 1-4-1 whip. And we'll be facing position player turn pitcher Bella Mietball who has no record with a 7-3-6 ERA and a 2-4-5 whip. She is starting as the fourth pitcher for the Saw Teeth who are 4-7 and seven coming into this game. Yeah, if we don't manage to win this start against Miet Ball, I'm going to be fuming. Let's look around the league. Cortez signs to the Freebooters, replacing Grunt Manley as they cut some cap there at first base. Not a bad move. Darcy Hicks picked up by the Herbisaurs, replacing Danielle Kemp. That's a good upgrade there for them as they're playoff contenders. Moore drops 7 speed. Getting worse. Uh, Sirloin signed Heidi Mabetz, replacing Phineas Frank. I don't think we play the Sirloins anymore this season. Uh, let's see what else happened. Uh, Jackie Slam off the saw teeth, replaced by Alexis Bass as they get a little bit cheaper out there in center field, but still a very good player that they signed who's a lot younger as well. Time to develop him. And that's it. Everyone else is still out there. Well, I think we're going to have to move on from Alfonso Hahn, obviously. He's not doing anything for us in the bullpen. Could go to Sebastian Morrow here, cut a lot of cap. Or we could go to like another young reliever, maybe like Tiago Parks. Maybe try to develop him as a 21-year-old. I mean, what what do we got to lose at this point, right? We're going to save a lot of money as well. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I rate that. Han's gone. Parks is in. He'll be taking over the fourth bullpen slot. Uh, do we want to try and bring in anyone else here? Because, I mean, Magic Moore just like absolutely crapped the bed. So he's definitely not going to be a good option for much longer, but I don't see anybody who's worth replacing him for. And it's shortstop. I don't see anybody to replace Ingram with who's not hitting the ball very well either, but I don't want to get rid of him necessarily. So, yeah, I think we're kind of stuck with what we got at this point. Yeah, because I'm not seeing it. Maybe Marsha Brown. We could bring her in for more, but... uh. Then we'll have two right fielders and no center fielder, and I don't like that. Mm. Tough, 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 tough. I guess we'll just stand pat and we'll see what happens here. I want Jackie Slam on there, might as well. It's a pretty good player in her own right. Trevino, eh, he's solid. I'll put him on there, why not? Manley's on there now, yep. Okay. Put Frank on there, he's a good pitcher. And Han, I just released. I want to see where he goes. Okay. Alrighty. So that's the only move we're going to make. We're going to bring in Parks for the Han. That is a pretty pretty steep drop off in the skill ratio. But the way Han was pitching, it might as well have been Parks out there getting shell instead of him. Take a look at these player developments now. Uh, we got this ligament repair for Newton. That's a good one. I kind of want to get that. Uh, this one for Cross would be nice as well. Um, but it's really expensive. Hmm. Not going to get this one for Pal more than likely, but if it is here next time, I'd like to be able to grab that. Maybe. Oh, that's accuracy now that I look at it. He doesn't need accuracy. He needs velocity. Bentley. Ooh, that's a nice one. Hmm. That'd be improving his speed and power again. Keep that in mind. It's only a 1% chance to expire. This one for Lynn will be here next time, even though I don't need it. This one for Moore. That's a nice one to get. Improve that contact of his. I like both of them. I think we'll go for the one for Newton because that's going to expire more, and she's the younger player, so we'll do that one instead. Let's get that junk rating up for her. She'll get the plus four. I'll put her up to 60. Does not get K-Man, unfortunately, but hey, it was worth a shot. He's getting better. All right, let's set the lineup here. Call it a day. I want to do that. Okay. Cross back in there. I want Bentley hitting above Ingram. He's just not, he's just not doing it for us this year. Uh, Trevino in center. I can get behind that, I guess. But there is a lefty on the hill, so I want to give more of the start here. And then when they bring a righty in, we can put Trevino in. 
So we'll have more bat last, Moran in the eight, then Basket. Uh, Acosta batting six, Ingram. Move Ingram down to six. Acosta can bat five. Why not? And we'll have them, them, them. Okay, so yeah, Nash, Lynn, Cross, Bentley, Acosta, Ingram, Basket, Moran, Moore. Sounds good to me. That'll do it for us this episode, guys. We got shut out by our former pitcher, Ivan Becker, as he throws his second co career complete game shutout as we get thrashed by the Moose 8 to nothing. Wasn't much to really talk about this game other than uh, our offense absolutely sucked. Hopefully we can bounce back out next time. Until then, this is The Nasty One, signing off.